morning, everyone. How are you today? It is Monday, January the 9th, and I'm so happy that I can read with you in 2 Peter. And I hope you had a good weekend, and the Lord is good. Amen, the Lord is good. Be sure you thank him for something today. Thank you. Thank God. Thank God for something today. If you just major on your problems and the negativities and the mountains in life, you'll be kind of sad and depressed. But if you count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. That's an old song, but a good truth. Count your blessings today. We're reading in 2 Peter, and we've learned that Peter is writing to Christians scattered throughout what we would call Turkey, although the letter was circulated way beyond that. And in this first chapter, he's talking about the benefits, the glory of being a Christian, the graciousness of God in permitting us to put our faith in Christ and the sacrifice he made on Calvary. And now he, I'll pick it up in verse 4 where we've read, through these promises, uh, I'm sorry, through his glory and goodness, he has given us his very great and precious promises so that through them you may participate in the divine nature. We can have the Holy Spirit living in us, having escaped the corruption in the world caused by evil desires. Now in verse 5, we touched on it last week. For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness. So we touched on this, make every effort. But without Christ, I can't do anything. Yeah, there's that truth in the Bible. But then there's also work out your salvation with fear and trembling. So there's a cooperation call from, called from, uh, called from us by God uh, that we participate and cooperate with this divine process of God wanting to make you and I this very day and week more like Jesus Christ. God's given us the spirit, the divine nature, the Holy Spirit living in us, but we, we have to pay attention to it. We have to strive, go for it. So what? What do we have to go for? For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness. So he assumes faith. You're a believer. You've put your faith in Jesus Christ. Now, make every effort to add to your faith goodness. Now, there's a great help that I've used over the years. It's called the Bible in 26 translations. The Bible in 26 translations. It's put out by the American Mission to the Greeks. It has the whole Bible, and it's a big book. You can get it hardcover or paperback. What is it? It's the Bible, let's take the Old Testament, from 26 different translations. Not every verse is in, obviously, 26 translations, but they put the King James in a darker print, and then choosing from a couple or one or a few of those other translations, they pick verses and put it in a different kind of print, especially verses that are meaningful, not genealogies and all of that, but very helpful. Makes you think along a different line. And the New Testament is choosing from 26 different translations they give you some options along with the King James. So I read to you the NIV. So I had this New Testament in 26 translation bound in leather um, years ago, and uh, I'm reading from it. Um, and beside this giving all diligence is the King James, add to your faith virtue. From the American Standard Version, 1901, add to your faith virtue. For this very reason, make every effort to supplement your faith with goodness. Good speed translation. Supplement your faith with moral character. Williams translation, a very interesting one of the New Testament. For this very reason, do your best to add to your faith moral excellence. New American Standard Bible. 
exhibit also a, no, a noble character. So, now we know what pleases God, and now we know God's aim, and now we know what we can aim for here in the beginning of 2023. Notice, you got to grow. Here's the whole point of this. At the end, it says... Uh, for if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, they will, be, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we've put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. We know about him. Hopefully we're reading our, our word every day and we're praying, Lord, Help me mature. Help me to grow. Remember, you can't stay stagnant. You automatically go backward. There's no holding pattern. Like the pilots say, we're in a holding pattern. There are no holding patterns spiritually. We're either growing or we're going backwards. So add to your faith. Everything starts with faith. The just shall live by faith. We get saved by faith in Jesus Christ. Through our faith, his merits are uh, assigned to us and our sins are forgiven. We're counted acceptable with God because of our faith in Jesus Christ and what he's done. But don't just stop at, oh, I believe. He said, now add. Add virtue. Add godly living. No, that's I said the wrong word. That's another word that's used there. So let me go back. Virtue. Moral excellence, goodness. In other words, just don't say you believe faith without works is dead. Add to your faith an actual everyday living filled with virtue, goodness, saying good things, doing good things, doing good things to others. Not having a defective moral character, but a high moral character. I know, but the just shall live by faith. But add to your faith now. Prove that it's real by adding goodness. Let's just take that. Goodness. There's multiple translations of that Greek word. Virtue. Goodness. Today, let's be good. Do good. All by God's power. All by God's power. But let's ask for it. Let's trust God for it. Let's say good things. Let's not do bad things. Let's not say bad words. Let's say good words, good things. Now we won't be unproductive in our knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's do it today. Father, we not only trust you, we ask you to work in us that today we live a good life, virtuous life. We say things and do things that will help others and that will represent Jesus Christ. In his name we pray, amen. See you tomorrow as we add to this list of good things of the Christian life. God bless you.